Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. So, on your screen, playing out, we have the weekly and monthly team of the season rewards. And out of the 100k pack, oh my, KDB, 91 rated, one of the best 100k packs I've had in a while for rating. And we only recently repurchased uh, Kevin De Bruyne and brought him back into our starting 11, the team of the year version. And what I'm wanting to do now with the squad is to upgrade every single position to the best version. So let's say, for example, we've got Patrick Vieira. I want to take that 88 and upgrade him to the 91. And that's exactly what I've done. So the next one is Hullet. I just really want to get into the top 100 for squad rating. We'll speak about that in a second. But from the next one, oh Christ, it was the Team of the Season Elite 2 pack. And we got ourselves the French goalkeeper. Nothing too special with that, but it's someone that we can sell on or even use in these future SBCs. But my squad rating is 94. 194 and if we're wanting to get into the top 100 it needs to be a 196 or a 197 i believe with a few adjustments and grinding out foot champs to get these team of the season cards we're going to be able to achieve it but from the monthlies we pulled a huge one 97 rated Lewandowski or Lewandowski. i don't know if he's going to be getting the goals for us um on fifa but we can always give him a go and inside of the pack i was getting hyped on stream a lot of people said that it was pretty trash and if you're looking at the players themselves i would probably agree with that like Lewandowski could be a really good finisher but he's not going to get into our starting 11 you have yourself a uh, cavani that he uh, i believe he's got like three star three star or three star four star and the rest of them aren't really playable but what i was thinking about high rated team of the seasons for well, untradable monthlies to put towards a Patrick Vieira. So the main reason why I've done Vieira is to get the best version on the game and then just to get the packs back during these team of the season promotions because yesterday they released the ultimate team of the season. So I had a ton of packs saved and I was ready to go. So what you will be seeing are the SBC squads playing out? I stuck in Lippmann. Guess how much I unlocked Lippmann for yesterday? You're not going to believe it. 40,000 coins. Literally 40k. And I used uh, two of our monthly rewards. And the rest of them, I just went on the market and purchased the cards if I didn't have them already. But if you guys are wondering, it, did we pull anyone from the Lippmann SBC packs or even Patrick Vieira? No, not really. Feels bad. I got myself a Dow. That was literally the best player out of all of those packs. Uh, the rest of them, I'm just going to be using towards like lower rated SBCs. But I worked it out all together. It cost us, give or take, 100,000 coins to get the best possible version of Vieira. So who's next? I think I'm going to focus on Hullet, bring in Pele, and that's the direction that I want to take the RTG just to build like the final, final mega squad i want to unlock every single player available on this game just to finish off the ultimate rtg so that is what i have planned and i hope you guys are down for that drop a like on the series and let's go and have a look at a 194 this team right now should be illegal 194 we've got maldini kdb rud hullet where's his prime like i said that's something that we're going to work towards but big boy patrick he's here one game one win in the weekend league and of course he has lost a little bit of pace do you notice that in game not really 95 interceptions 95 stand tackle and when i had this loan card ages ago one thing that i noticed was that his long shots definitely had been improved finishing with the card but any version of Vieira is going to do work for your side. So he's here. And the one thing I'm worried about, though, is once we put Lewandowski towards an SBC, Cavani, and when Dybala expires, we need to be bringing in those types of players to replace them so we can continue with this 194, 195. We've got a lot of work to do. If you've got any ideas on who we can bring in to help reach the top 100 squad rating, then do recommend me some players in the comments section. We're going to jump into foot champs right now. Who are we going to play? Because I want to continue using the 4 one 2 on 2 with De Bruyne and Hullet. Maybe at half time, I'll bring on Dybala and see what he can do. But when you've got this squad, 
do we really need to bring on substitutes? Well, Lewandowski I'm not going to use today. I, I'll use him on stream. But Dibardo is someone that I do want to bring on. So when Neymar gets tired, but he doesn't get tired. What's his stats? All right. He, he, he's, he's getting there. We need to get him to a game to goal. It's going to be difficult, though. Ronaldo, 64 games, 72 goals, 32 assists. Are you guys ready? We've only played one game in the weekend league. Let's go and smash it. Pringles FC. I recognize that team name. I think I've played them before. And it's a weird side. The Bushi. <laughs> My God. I was only saying that he's good. No. No, Zaha. Yes. Yes, Vieira. Go on, R9. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. No way. Christ. Even with a mega squad, I can't seem to put the balls in the back of the net consistently. Vieira's there, though. Just dink it back post. Oh, KDB. And I score that. Yes, Vieira. That interception, though, that was clean. Hold on. He feels very quick. Like, really quick, in fact. Oh, I was about to hit it with his right, and he takes it all with his left. Oh, that back heel, though. Oh, nine. The back heel. He's just f 5 me. That back heel. This passing though, Patrick Vieira, shooting definitely improved, and that should be a GG. One thing to keep in mind before you start changing out your side, purchasing new players, if you're intending to play the weekend league, uh, where is it? Look at this, so it's not for the next one, it's the one in 12 days. So requirements, nationalities, exactly one in your starting 11 and subs. So as we have uh, untradeable Ronaldinho, R9, Neymar, I think really we're going to be going for a Brazil side. Do you know who I'm going to unlock? <laughs> I'm going to get Pele. I'm going to go for Prime Pele, dude. I don't know when, I don't know how. I'm going to get the coins. I'm going to use all my untradeables and unlock icon prime pele so we can have neymar ronaldinho strike well we don't even need that do we need pele yeah we need pele game number two this guy has himself that 97 rated Lewandowski. i will try him but not in foot champs oh that footwork oh no Oh my! Pull it! What a ball! What a ball from R9. We should be 2 0 up at this point. That miss though from Hullet. <laughs> Thank you. What well, I'm the hair. Good throw. Yes, R9. Over the top. C can I win that? Uh, there's a lot to ask for. <laughs> get it down to the ground. Or get it on the ground. Yes. Ronaldinho. That was beautiful. R9 to finish it off. Lovely attack. Really slick, smooth. And that's another GG, boys. Loving this team right now. Going from the World Cup game mode, which is slow... And it takes time to adapt. Coming back to this, it feels like a completely new game. I love it. I really like the feel of Ultimate Team. Our next opponent is using that 3-4-1-2, my World Cup formation. It is sick. We've got to be very careful then if we're using that narrow 4 one 2 one 2 Game on. Good pass. Sweet. R9. this r9 you know you know what's happened everyone's gone over to the world cup game mode and the foot champs gameplay actually feels smooth and responsive god it's enjoyable
This team is just too nice. If I lose with this team, it's embarrassing. Unless I come up against a pro player or just someone that's better than me. But for the most part, I shouldn't lose. This team carries. Good play. Spin him. Oh, penalty. Is that going to be a quit? I have a feeling. Oh, I'm taking it with R9. I need to get his stats up. Come on, R9. Oh, slotted home bottom corner. What a great finish. 3-0 at the break in this one. And I haven't really been able to completely control the game in terms of possession and stuff. But what is possession when you score three goals? So I'm happy. Let's continue. Oh, Neymar's close ball control. All came from Neymar's control on the edge of the box. And that Patrick Vieira, he's getting that extra acceleration. After he takes touches and then just moves, he's got a little pop. Also, if you haven't seen, win six daily knockout tournament matches this week to earn yourself a team in the season delete. His stats are stupid. And it's not win the day knockout tournament. It's literally winning six games. So all that you have to do, enter a tournament, uh, try and win at least the first one. And even if you get knocked out, just play it again and continue that way. So most likely everyone is going to get their hands on a delete, which is awesome. But what I want to do now is go and have a look at Pele. Because if it is a full national side, not next week, but the week after then I need to get my hands on this little beast. But how many icons, out of curiosity, is it? Because I don't have any icons. You got one, two, three, four. Oh my god, it's going to be five then. It's five icons for Pele. But then again, the icons have dropped quite a bit. You can pick them up for 100,000 coins. So right now, if I maybe sell on some investments, but player prices haven't really shot up. I've got some team of the season cards, though, that I can get rid of. I know the Rosillian in my trade pile, he hasn't sold yet. Uh, I've got my hands on a couple of those tradable team of the seasons, like Benatia. If I'm not going to use him, I could get rid of the card. I would love to, like, replace... Rio Ferdinand for Benatia because it's different and he is uh, a very good player. It just is not going to work. If Alexandro got a team of the season, for sure. But I can't get him in. Tuliska, I'm not going to sell. I might get rid of this keeper and Malcolm. Those are the two tradables. So I will be um, able to pick up the necessary icons. But then it's completing the full Pele SBC. I checked on the foot bin uh, the other day and it was around about like 1.4 million. So, realistically, it's going to cost us maybe 500, like 450, 500,000. And that's having used all of our untradables. And we've got a ton of these 84s already. So, that's something that I will probably put together uh, on stream. And then I'll show you in the next one. We'll see. But, boys, I want to give you a quick update before I let you guys go. The Weekend League, I will be playing all of my games this month. So, depending on how many we finish tonight we might have a super long stream on Sunday. But 36 matches left, 4-1. Oh, God. This team is actually filth. And I'm loving every single minute of it. Every time I'm going into a game and I have that icon upon icon just to carry me, it's a great feeling. But thank you ever so much for watching. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.